that six-minute drought against Southern Miss this past weekend was due in large part to a zone and Wichita State's cold shooting from three-point range. It probably didn't take. Shockers so far this year really <laughs> struggling from the foul line. They're at just a miss late in that ball game to, to ice that game. He's a, he's a clutch shooter. Number 15 against Jacksonville State. So 8 of 31, just 26% foul. But uh, the referee motioned like it was a, yep. a, a pushing foul. And, and there's another foul right and there. an end one. We thought early on, Bob, that if Marcus shooting woes sees the ball go in the basket a little bit, ORU might be in for a long night tonight. You know, he's due for a good shooting night. He's had a couple of bad ones in a row. Uh, scored a lot of points, but just shot a really low percentage. So look for McDuffie. To he's got five. Echenique's got five. And that free throw rattles in there. So Marcus McDuff out. ORU's turned it over five times. Shockers haven't turned it over yet. That's Burton. a strong move. There you go. Demarius Burton at 6-4 finishes around the rim. I think he Burton inside the guts of that zone. And they're going to call McDuffie for a walk. Owen Short said McDuffie took off before he put it on the ground again. They've had that open shot on that out-of-bounds play a number of times today. Turns out that solid first half. McDuffie for three. You know, that's some place he normally shoots really well from. He, those corners. McDuffie almost had a pass thrown right in his lap. Oh, my gosh. And with two fouls, he draws a charge on Nezekwese. Yeah, that time Emmanuel Nezekwese, watch him. He just lowers his shoulder right into McDuffie and lets him, sends him flying. And good defensive footwork that time by Marcus McDuffie. McDuffie knifes in, draws a foul. Amir Amedic is into the game for the... A lot of success bouncing that ball inside. And that's why they're drawing so many fouls, because they're getting the ball inside. Be ultra careful right now, because they're eventually going to start evening up. Whether yeah. the officials are... Torres to McDuffie. Back to the free throw line. Marcus McDuffie will go. Yeah, when you penetrate a zone with a pass or with a dribble, and watch this time it's with the dribble, Ricky Torres shoots right into the middle of the zone. That that gives the zone trouble, and he was able to find McDuffie right in the short corner. Three minutes and 20 seconds of the half. McDuffie continues to pour in the free throws. He's not going to lean on Nezekwese even more to try to get back into this game. Defense just parted that time, and he got all the way to the basket. That shouldn't happen. Ricky Torres is coming back in. What a tough catch and delivery by Marcus McDuffie. He got a bullet, shin-high pass that he just walked through the night. And ORU just won't go away. Shockers had another 11-point lead in this half, and it's been whittled down to six. And McDuffie. Just a personal heat check right now for Marcus McDuffie, who has 21 points. Yeah, the McDuffie. Marcus McDuffie has 23. Not a bad catch from the big yeah, guy. No kidding. McDuffie on a pass from Stevenson. Wow. How good was that pass? <laughs> Stevenson took a couple bounces inside that. 